This is the fifth and final section of the variable acceleration chapter, and uh, this is constant acceleration formulae. Now, basically, what this is is being able to derive SUVA formulae, derive SUVA formulae uh, by using integration. And we already know that when we integrate the acceleration with respect to t, we're going to get um, our v plus a constant. When we integrate our uh, velocity with respect to t, we're going to get our um, displacement plus a constant. Now, with the right information for the constants, you could end up with uh, v equals u plus a t, or you could end up with s equals u t plus half a t squared, which are two of the SUVAP formulae. Okay, a particle moves in a straight line with constant acceleration a, given that its initial velocity is u. Okay, its initial velocity is u and the initial displacement is zero meters, in okay, case so it's at the origin, prove that its velocity v at uh, time t seconds is given by v equals u plus a t. Well, we're told it's got a uh, constant acceleration, right? So what we're gonna do, we will start by integrating the acceleration with respect to t, okay? Um, we can't do any more than that. That's what we're going to start with. Now, if I integrate that, I'm going to get a t because it's a constant acceleration. It's just like a constant. So if you integrate a constant, you'll get the constant times by t plus c. OK, so that's what I've got so far. But then it says, given that its initial velocity is u and its initial displacement is zero. So basically, when t equals zero, the initial velocity um, is u, so v equals u. Now, when we worked out this a t plus c, what did we do? Well, we worked out the um, velocity. And this question says that when t is zero, v equals u, OK? So when t equals zero, so a times zero plus c, the velocity is u. So what that tells us is c equals u. So now we can substitute in that um, the velocity, the thing that we integrated, the acceleration, that's the velocity, is a t plus u, which we can rearrange to v equals u plus a t, which is one of our SUVAT formulae. So we used integration there to do it. Part b, uh, its displacement s at time b is given by s equals u t plus half a t squared. So we're going to take our previous answer. We know that when we integrate the velocity, we're going to get the displacement. So what does that mean? It means that this displacement, or let's write this down, um, we're going to be integrating uh, u plus a t with respect to t. Okay, so what does that mean about s? s equals, well, um, u integrated becomes u t. And um, a t differentiated, well, we add one to the power, divide by the new power, plus c. OK, it's already looking like something we recognize. s equals ut plus half a t squared plus c. Now, we need to work out what um, c is. Now, it says um, its initial position was naught meters. 
So that means the initial position was 0 meters when t was 0, s equals 0, so half times a times 0 squared plus c. Okay, what does that mean? That means c equals 0. So we're just left with s equals ut plus half a t squared. Here we go. So we've proved that and we've proved this as required. So you should now be able to do exercise 11e on pages 192 uh, to 193. And what you've seen is, is that we can use integration to derive and it looks like the v equals u plus a t and s equals u t plus half a t squared.